Good morning to all my trucking friends. Today we are highlighting a very special event for one of our employees at ELE. Jasmine in the front office recently became an official American when she passed her U.S. citizenship test. Congratulations, Jasmine. How does it feel to finally be able to call yourself an American? Thank you, Chris. Um, it feels great. I was almost in tears when they were doing the oath and uh, when, you know, you just think about how really good it feels to be a part of this country. When you see that red, white, and blue flying in the background, it has a whole new meaning now, doesn't it? It really does, and now I can truly be a part of it, you know, and not feel like an outsider. <laughs> well, let's, uh, I guess we'll start by asking, where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally from the Caribbean. It's an island right off the coast of Barbados called St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But um, I relocated and lived in Canada for 25 years. And about six years ago, I uh, moved to North Carolina from Canada. I'm sure Justin is missing you up there. So how long did it take you to become an American citizen? <laughs> you know, all my Canadian friends definitely miss me. <laughs> <laughs> It took uh, five years. I had to live, work, pay my taxes here for five years. I had to show that I was a great American uh, resident before they can say, okay, we're going to grant you citizenship. So I had to do everything right. I didn't have a criminal record. I had to work constantly, pay all the taxes, don't owe anything and uh, filled up all the documentation um, and pay the heavy fines, like the heavy fees that go with this whole citizenship. And that's why we're, people who are born here are blessed to be an American, that's why it's said. So um, you kind of answered this, how hard was it to become a citizen? So I guess how hard was it to pass your citizenship test? Well, I had to learn, study a uh, hundred questions questions or or history of the country that maybe regular people that were born here don't know oh, so so now you're trying to get on the us okay <laughs> yeah because i think if you're going to be born here you should know that stuff too Makes but sense. yeah it's it's it really was uh it took that that hundred questions to be able to pass that test so what are you most looking forward to doing now that you're a citizen well, I'm looking forward to taking the next step of being a, a true patriot, of um, voting in the general election, federal, state, and also to take part in all of the national festivities like Independence Day. Flag Day. Flag Day. Yeah. All the barbecues that happen. <laughs> I mean, truly feel a part of it now. So, and now you can do like the rest of us and hang the American flag over your bed and salute, salute it while singing the national anthem before you go to sleep. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, Jasmine. So that wraps up for the, pack, the podcast for today. We'll talk to you soon, truckers. Please do us a favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel as it will help us greatly. And be sure to follow ELE social media accounts. You can find us on Facebook and our Instagram account is ELE underscore logistics. Again, that's ELE underscore logistics. Thanks for listening and we'll talk to you soon.